Hello everyone, welcome once again to Investing with the Difference. So we are back with the uh, quick updates on EOS. Some of the things which uh, we talked about in the last video, um, I think we were focusing on the big updates in EOS world and today we have a few more things which are uh, really important to understand and how the landscape is changing, how EOS is being recognized as uh, very very strong uh, blockchain and a community i think most important thing in any blockchain is the community of developers and uh, we will talk about some of that but let's uh, have a quick look at the market so as we talked in the last video i also wanted to cover uh, i talked about this resistance which is uh, was difficult to cross for uh, bitcoin and uh, we were expecting a drop if it does not cross it and that is exactly what is happening today we are seeing a big red candle uh, we are seeing levels I think we could not breach and uh, this is disappointing and I think uh, there is a risk we fall back into this channel and try to take support around uh, $3600 mark. Uh, so there is another 10% fall which uh, can materialize from here so be careful. Uh, we have still not uh, broken if you go in, even at a smaller scale so let me draw another line. Uh, so this particular trend is uh, we may be able to protect uh, these levels and uh, let's see if uh, we bounce back uh, because there's still a strong support around 3900 3950 area and uh, uh, so that is the best case scenario in this fall but uh, the worst case i would say is uh, we go and try to test these uh, support areas around 3600 uh, so let's see how this plays out the range is getting narrower and narrower um, and we do need to see whether it's a bear trap and uh, we are looking to break out or whether it will fall down into this channel. Um, overall, I think uh, beyond Bitcoin as usually the altcoins are doing worse as you can see quite a few 2-4% to 4 fall and EOS is uh, going to look to take support around 3.5 dollar mark. So that's something which we will watch out for. Um, before we jump into the dApps and the EOS ecosystem, let me remind you for developers out there, if you are still looking to join our webinars, so we do have our module 1.2 starting this Friday. Uh, do join us uh, there. I will post the link to register for the webinar. We will also do some summary update of 1.1 in this webinar so that people who are missed out on the previous one can catch up. Uh, uh, we will also do contact us on our telegram channel on for block start and we will be able to share some reading material for you to catch up if you are new but uh, do not forget to register for it uh, for this friday that is tomorrow uh, we are start continuing our webinar series with uh, eos canada and diffuse uh, um, alex uh, who is like one of the best instructor we have in eos world now let's jump into the EOS ecosystem. So what I wanted to focus on today is uh, this news that is from the Loom network. So, so these guys were building layer two solution and it's seen as a, one of the very uh, like you know high potential solution for its scale, scaling of Ethereum. And uh, Loom itself has raised uh, quite a lot of money as their coin and so on. And uh, what they have now announced is um, that they're going to integrate EOS and Tron. Now, the important part here is that uh, there is a significant amount of developers in Ethereum. That's why there was so much effort being done for uh, scaling Ethereum. But now we, what you will see is uh, more and more people are realizing that uh, the three leading platform today from users perspective and from uh, actual developer perspective is uh, Ethereum, EOS and Tron. And uh, this is the highlight which they have said what has changed. And uh, they have said that a good number of developers are building dApps on both EOS and Tron. So now this is very important because this is, as we already talked about, so many people are moving from Ethereum to EOS. Now we are seeing the layer two solutions are looking at they will not survive if they do not take EOS and Tron into account. EOS itself, the quality of development, we will talk about it next and we already covered it as I mentioned in the like, if you watched our previous video, the quality of work happening in EOS, when we talked about uh, the Sense Chat app, the Bancor, focusing on mainly on Ethereum and EOS liquidity, uh, Chintai, uh, building some amazing use cases. We talked about all the great stuff, item games. Uh, by the way, for when we talk about item games, uh, we did make a mistake last time about which game is launching. So we would like to correct here. Uh, so even because they had mentioned Q1 2019, so we got confused that Gangster Arena is launching first. Actually, it's uh, um, the different game which uh, they have clarified in our comments. It's uh, Onion Knight. So that, let's, that's something which is going to be launching first. So I want to 
um, clarify that we made a mistake in last video but let, let me go back to what we were talking about so what, what I'm talking about is the quality of developers uh, we talked about item games let me talk to another big uh, team which is mythical games I think we it has been covered enough by a lot of other youtubers so I skipped it but this time wh what I wanted to highlight is while you must have seen the Blanco's ad and uh, it's a lot of getting a lot of attention but I would just recommend you to go to their website and read about the team. Now just click on these LinkedIn profiles of these people who are behind Mythical Games. These are like serious people with the, they know the business and they have um, the experience and the connections to make this successful. They have got uh, Galaxy Digital's uh, investment and the quality of games coming out. Um, and what I really liked about this uh, effort is that they are talking about a platform again just like item games. And they are talking about the customizable games, like anybody can go and build it uh, using uh, the framework they are putting together. And that is, I think, an amazing step. So this is not just about blockchain. It's not about uh, uh, this whole idea of non-fungible tokens, which we always talk about. It's beyond that. It's, it's about creating a real democratic versions of games where anybody can design the game. So the basic idea itself is very strong, um, which is uh, not yet... Uh, easily available in non-blockchain world so that's the strength uh, of uh, mythical games I'm seeing and uh, they have got some really amazing uh, way of um, taking it forward so I think I would say that this these are the quality of teams we talk about um, then another app I've, I've been using and Lumios I don't know if you have heard about it and I think a lot of users from EOS are already on Lumios now we always looked at social media and uh, other things like how they use the data. The Lumio strength is they are being very upfront about we are taking your inputs, they are doing surveys and you are actually providing the answers to questions which uh, social media like Facebook and Google try to guess based on your Facebook post and so on and create a database and sell it to people. What they are telling you is you voluntarily participate in surveys give your preferences give your opinions and let monetize your data which is like your thoughts your preferences and so on and uh, this is amazing i think they are already very successful they are partnering with a lot of companies who are working with them i'm actively using this uh, app and it's a uh, it's like already in a very very advanced stages like we already means just yesterday I got another email uh, from them that uh, we can now earn like you know a sponsored surveys and they're testing that out uh, even though they started with just uh, the usual community driven surveys and now we are already seeing the sponsored surveys and so on and uh, they have been covered very well by media they are like they have a very strong use case so I think uh, I must have uh, skipped a lot of other apps when I do these videos. It's impossible to cover every important thing which is happening in your world. Um, but what I wanted to highlight is the quality of apps, the recognition by rest of the blockchain community like uh, these Loom Network and so on that you cannot miss out on the leading blockchains. And overall what is happening uh, is while Ethereum is still the leader in terms of number of developers, number of investments going in. Um, EOS is following and growing very fast even though it's less than one year since EOS has started and Tron like we we should be like you know we should recognize that Tron has a very very organized way of uh, launching these apps I think they are they are spending like Tron foundation it's a very very centralized community they're not worried about uh, all the regulations and so on because of their own local jurisdictions they they are very confident that they can manage that so they are being very um, kind of centrally controlled blockchain from the developers perspective from funds perspective so Tron foundation and Justin Sun are leading it and that's an, another interesting way of uh, uh, enabling this but I think uh, the reality is that they are also getting a lot of developers and a lot of uh, uh, apps. Uh, and again, I think a lot of people criticize all these new blockchain like EOS and Tron started with all these gambling dApps and so on. What I'm hearing is, of course, EOS is attracting the best talent uh, in the next generation of blockchain beyond Ethereum uh, when I look at the quality of teams. Uh, but I think Tron is uh, closely following behind. So these three are now you know, from looking at these kind of news which uh, Loom Network is talking about and when I talk to developers outside 
uh, I'm kind of convinced that these three are now established as uh, the leading blockchain platforms uh, for developing dApps and uh, they are in that order ethereum is number one eos is number two right now and tron is number three uh, again a lot of people look at the statistics about usage about number of users and so on i would say that that is still true that eos and tron are pretty much high in usage but you should look at the quality of developers and that's what i think uh, will define the long run usage uh, usage patterns uh, having uh, like a thousands of people going after a Ponzi scheme of a of a gambling dApp is uh, not real usage. That's not going to sustain. So today, like some people are, I see posts on Telegram talking about, oh, Tron is a dApp king with the uh, number one num like you know number of users and so on. I don't believe in that because uh, most of them are like we had the same situation with EOS. EOS was on top. Uh, in December when the, we had the peak of uh, the gambling dApps and all the uh, token minting happening and the mining happening and uh, what they turned out to be and we have talked about it previously they all were Ponzi schemes and uh, now I think we have matured beyond that um, and EOS is uh, kind of cooled down the whole gambling thing Tron is still in that mis middle of that uh, but that also helps I think uh, for uh, blockchains to be tested to this extent that uh, um, uh, to the get the peak throughput numbers and so on in real world scenarios so it's not bad and they are real actually means let's not forget that the gambling dApps themselves are um, uh, going to sustain in a much smaller scale because there is definitely a use case uh, but what we are seeing in terms of uh, the actual applications uh, which are coming out I would say that usable applications uh, out of the three today EOS is leading in them in terms of uh, what is the real end user applications which are real business cases uh, whether it's social media whether it's gaming uh, or we are also looking at uh, the quality of teams and investments happening in your world uh, these are amazing so I think that's something which I would like to focus on so this is all uh, for today and I hope that uh, this this whole idea which we are trying to follow right now is what where is the development heading uh, how can you participate and I keep reminding you if you are interested in developing or if you want to join us as a community to keep developing this is a still early days I think uh, the killer applications of blockchain are yet to be developed all these early stage uh, developments we are seeing they are uh, going to go through multiple level of maturity and as a developer if you are starting right now I think it's a perfect time to join this blockchain arena and start working on it and what I can tell you is what is different uh, with EOS and uh, anything I think in the next generation blockchains uh, beyond Ethereum is it's much more easier what we are when we talk to developers after these workshops and these webinars some of them like you know are really excited that how easy it is to get started uh, and that is what I think is the power of uh, EOS beyond uh, what we are seeing in the rest of the world so do join us I think we are still committed to keep expanding the developer community and as I told you last time we are building a lot of projects so do watch out for that uh, very soon we will start announcing some of our projects which we are doing as part of block start and uh, I think that is uh, something we are very passionate about and we will show you like the quality of projects the qu the actual uh, impact to the real world is uh, much bigger uh, in blockchain world than what you're seeing today and by end of 2019 I'm sure you will see some really great projects coming out of EOS world so thank you once again for joining do like our videos and share them uh, because this helps us spread the word uh, do press uh, the thumbs up uh, icon uh, and that really helps us uh, build a um, bigger community thank you bye bye